I've got trick questions, you need trick answers. Are you having trick trouble? Let's check the first chapter. So let's say we got a triangle and we know that it's right. I can figure that out, you soak a toe all night. That means I gotta pick one, so I guess I'll try tangent. I know that ratio, opposite over adjacent. But wait one second, I have the hypotenuse, so sine or cosine is what I'll have to use. Or maybe my triangle's weird like scalene or obtuse, then the law of sines is what I will do. A over sine of A, that's how it starts. B over sine of B, that's the easy part. C over sine of C, follow right along. D over sine of D, oh wait, that's not in this song. But if that gives you trouble, I've got your reaction. No worries here, just flip your fractions. But I'm looking at my triangle and it doesn't seem whole. OMG, Mr. Z, there's no full ratio. No worries again, there's a separate law for that. It's a law of cosines as a matter of fact. Now this is a weird one, so try to listen close. It's semi-familiar, so let's see where it goes. A squared equals the squares of B and C. That's Pythagorean theorem you might already see. If we subtract a little bit, you should be okay. Minus 2BC times the cosine of A. So to solve for the sine, I plug it in, not too bad. Yeah, just make sure to take the square root of that. Then to solve for an angle, is that any worse? Subtract your squares, divide, and take the inverse. Let's reverse. Law cosines, law sine, so Katoa, that's three. I get it, triangles, trigonometry.